What's up, third grade teachers? This is Brian Lack. I am here to update you on the third grade math curriculum map. You will notice that for the third straight year, we are starting with multiplication and division, and the purpose of this video is to explain why. Take a look at these two representations. What do you notice? Well, the one on the left is addition of three-digit numbers. The one on the right is obviously multiplication. The one on the left includes some very large numbers. The one on the right includes very small numbers. The representation on the left is completely abstract. The representation on the right is pictorial. Here are the reasons why we start with multiplication in third grade. Smaller magnitude of numbers. You're using one and two digit numbers throughout the multiplication division units instead of three digit numbers that you would use in addition subtraction. Students with weak or low number sense are going to struggle with larger numbers um, because they're harder to model. So multiplication division, much easier to model with manipulatives and drawings because the numbers are smaller and safer. It also gives students the entire year to become fluent with multiplication division facts. Unlike addition subtraction in which kids get three years to become fluent with their basic facts, multiplication division they only get one and that is very daunting. If you have students who enter third grade that don't know their addition facts from memory, well, starting with multiplication is actually going to help facilitate that process. Let's look at the previous slide. If you have students that come into third grade that don't know 8 plus 4, or 4 plus 4, or 8 plus 8, or 6 plus 6, or 6 plus 12, or 12 plus 12, the initial units on multiplication and division are only going to help build that fluency. Now this doesn't mean that you don't touch addition subtraction at all until December. Here are some practical suggestions from Forsyth County third grade teachers who have had success with this model. What they've told me is you incorporate number talks daily or three times a week during semester one and you focus almost exclusively on addition and subtraction strategies that students should have learned between kindergarten and second grade. Teachers who have taken this approach have reported much less struggle when they get to the addition and subtraction units later in semester one. Also, students who enter third grade with weak number sense or low place value understanding, they're going to benefit the most from number talks because the emphasis must be on number sense and place value, not paper and pencil methods. Hope this helps. Enjoy the beginning of the year. Contact me if you need anything.